Welcome to Fly Tying Step by Step. Today we are going to tie a Perdigon minimalistic PTN hotspot. So we are going to start off with a few wraps of lead wire just behind the bead just to add some weight to this fly. I'm also using a tungsten bead on a size 14 hook. So after a few wraps, four or five wraps of lead wire, I'm just securing it inside the bead and I can break off the excess. With that secured, I will advance my thread to the end of the hook. And to stay with the pheasant tail nymph, I am still going to use my fibers from my pheasant tail. I'm only going to use three fibers to keep it slim and minimalistic. So the tail length is about the same as the length of the shank. Make sure that you tie your material for your tail right on top of your hook shank. I'm just creating a transition point here and then I'm just covering up my lid. I'm not going to use any dabbing for this body, seeing that we are going to cover it with our UV resin. Now I'm going to add my copper wire. I'm going to add it on your side of the fly so you can see what I'm doing. Seeing that we have our transition just before the lead, I'm adding my wire just behind the lead. A little bit more difficult if you do it on your side, but for illustration's sake, I'm just going to do it like that. Okay. Then I'm building up my tapered body. I want to keep it quite slim, so I'm not going to build up too much. After building up my taper, I will do my ribbing. Three to four wraps should do it. I can sneak in another one there. Secure your copper wire with a few wraps. Always helicopter off your wires. It just makes for a very, very smooth finish so that it doesn't cut your thread or create sharp points on your fly. For my wing case, I'm going to use a substitute for Swiss straw. You can use anything. The reason I'm using this is because it's a synthetic, it's a plastic, and it aids in keeping a smooth finish to your fly. Just build up a little bit of a thorax with a thread. And for my hotspot, I'm using the ultra thread in a floral fire orange. Just going to sneak in my thread in front of the hotspot. 
and make a few turns with my floral orange creating a nice hot spot with that done I'm going to secure it with my brown thread just behind the bead trim away that orange and bring my wing case material over With that done, I'll just whip finish. And you don't need a lot of wraps for your whip finish, seeing that you are going to cover the whole fly in your UV resin. Make sure that everything sits we want it. Now we can add our UV resin. This fly sinks like a rock. It's got very little resistance in the water column, seeing that it's covered with your UV varnish. I suppose if you use Cocteau Leon in the tail, it might make a difference. But um, we want to create a pheasant tail nymph, so let's use our pheasant tail material. That looks about right. So just cure it with your UV light. That should do it. So there you have your minimalistic pheasant tail nymph in a polygon style fly. Thank you for watching. Please click like on our video. Also join us on Facebook www.facebook.com forward slash flytang123 and subscribe to our channel to be notified about our new patterns that we post. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your fly time and your fishing. Bye.